My classmate Bonnie was obsessed with seducing boys that already had a girlfriend. And when I caught her flirting with my boyfriend, TJ, I finally lost it. Get away from him, you pumpkin face. Oh, but he likes me so much. TJ, tell me, am I your favorite girl? I pushed her away and said, TJ, she is a tramp. Promise me to stay away from her. Oh, don't worry. She's harmless. But I know teenage boys think with their pants, not with their heads. I couldn't trust my boyfriend as long as Bonnie was around. And the other girls felt the same. So to get Bonnie under control, we all gossiped and excluded her. But it didn't work. It only drove her further to the boys. And they loved her, of course. She was thin, had a bubble butt, and always dressed like she was on spring break. Rumor had it she'd already slept with more than a hundred guys, even though she was only 16. But that's probably an underestimate. Once at a party, I saw her kiss 10 different guys within just an hour. It was so disgusting. And things escalated on our class camping trip. I looked out the window for one second, and Bonnie handcuffed herself to my boyfriend TJ. Then she said she couldn't remember where the key was. I was furious and sat myself between them, but she kept tickling and touching TJ over my shoulder. Then our teacher forced me to change seats. Now I had to watch her fall asleep on TJ's lap, and it got worse. When we got to the cabins, it was already dark, and we couldn't find a hammer to destroy the handcuffs. So our teacher told TJ and Bonnie, You two just have to bunk together tonight. That's when I lost it and screamed, No! My boyfriend won't sleep next to that tramp! Don't stress, girl. I'll take extra good care of TJ. You'll see. He's such a good boy anyway. She started pawing at him, and I was about to kill her. I knew she would try to make out with him in their bed. And what if she took off her clothes and got naked? The next morning I woke up. My friends told me to check Bonnie's Instagram. Apparently she had posted a video with TJ. Hey, I'm here in bed with my new boyfriend. Isn't he a cutie pie? Bonnie had no shirt on while TJ was sleeping in her arms with lipstick kisses all over his face. I went to find a hammer so I could finally destroy the handcuffs. But that's when Bonnie said, Oh, I just remembered where the key is. It's right here in my pants. I grabbed the key, sprung them loose, and asked, What was that video on Bonnie's Instagram? Oh, that wasn't my fault. She kissed me while I was asleep. Oh, TJ, you liar. Why don't you tell her about the other things we did last night, you naughty boy? That night, all the guys went to a lake. Us girls weren't invited, but of course Bonnie disappeared with them. So I grabbed a flashlight and went hunting. I found the guys laughing around a bonfire when Bonnie sat down on TJ's lap and sucked his face. I was disgusted, but the guys were cheering her on. So I threw a stone at them and screamed, Get your dirty hands off him! But TJ stood up for Bonnie and said, You could have hurt someone with that stone. And relax, we were only playing a kissing game. Yeah, don't be such a prude. I'm prudish because I'm the type of girl you can marry someday. Bonnie's just a cheap toy you're going to use a few times and then dump in the trash. But I'm only 16. I don't want a serious relationship in any way. Bonnie's more fun than you. Oh, you really think that? I ran to our camp and used scissors to turn my jeans into hot pants and my t-shirt into a crop top. Then I went back and said, how do I look now? Wow, you look hot. Really? You like the way I look? Because I need your validation to feel good about myself. Can you please make out with me? Please? It was fun beating Bonnie at her own game, but she was a professional and outplayed me. Mind if I join you two? Sorry, but I can't risk getting an STD from you. Okay, girls, calm down. Why don't we go back to my cabin for a duel to see which one of you is the better kisser? That's when I finally realized that my boyfriend didn't care about me one bit. I told him, it's over between us. I'm sure she already gave you her STDs, and I hope you both die of syphilis. But the rest of the trip, TJ was completely under Bonnie's spell, and she kept flaunting it in my face. Oh, babe, last night was so good. Can we go back to your bed? I rallied the other girls, and we ambushed them that night. First, we locked TJ into the bathroom. Then we tied Bonnie to a tree and taped her mouth shut. The girls held her still while I wrote man-eater across her forehead. It was fun until our teacher found out about it. She screamed, All you girls are suspended from school for two weeks! No, please don't suspend us. If Bonnie is the only girl left in our class, she will steal all our boyfriends. Bonnie didn't even try to wash off her man-eater tattoo. The guys thought it was funny, and she wore it like a badge of honor. Currently, I'm still suspended, but I've heard rumors that Bonnie makes out with up to five guys each break. I wouldn't be surprised if that was true.